The movie starts, and two characters named Sandy and Baiji are shown. They were reading a book. According to the book, there was a demon king many years ago. He was powerful. No one can defeat him. He wanted to occupy the earth and heaven. Wherever he went, everything was destroyed. To stop this, Buddha king used his chi energy. Later, demon king's power was taken from him and buried under magical tree which contains chi energy. Now he wants to regain his power back, so he can come to his real form and occupy the world as he always wanted. He can't do this until there is chi energy in this world. Sandy and Baiji leave the book and go to their master, and their master was depressed because he was hungry and was waiting for Wu Kong because he brings food for him. Wu Kong was an impatient monkey. Wu Kong has a different temper. He doesn't do anything properly. Later, they are shown moving to a temple. It belongs to an immortal human. There was everything that we couldn't find in the world. Two servants are shown in the temple. They take care of the temple. These servants go in temple to bring food for them. Baiji hears them secretly. They were talking about a fruit tree. It is something special. Baiji tells everything to Wu Kong. They chase the servants while changing their getup. They see a huge tree there. There were yummy fruits on it. The servants were taking fruits from there. As the servants leave, Wu Kong also plucks a fruit for him, but the food drops from his hand. It goes inside the land because of demonic energy. Wu Kong puts his hand in the land to take it back, but a small demon appears from the earth. He tells them the story of this tree, that this tree gives thirty fruits after every ten thousand years. Whoever will eat this fruit. His life will be increased forty-seven thousand years. Hearing this, Wu Kong leaves while taking three fruits from there. After returning to temple, he distributes them among his friends. The servants also find this that Wu Kong have taken fruits from the tree. The servants immediately return to the tree. They discover that the fruits have been plucked and it was stolen by Wu Kong, and they return to temple. They blame Wu Kong. Wu Kong becomes furious hearing this because they even have called their master a thief. The fight starts and Wu Kong goes back to the tree in anger. He starts destroying it, and the immortal also comes to know this. So he comes there with his companion to stop him. This immortal makes a circle around Wu Kong. It was a magical circle. Wu Kong's master apologizes to the immortal, but Wu Kong becomes furious because of it. There was a fight between Wu Kong and immortal. During the fight, it is discovered that the demon king has been released now. As the demon king releases, it disappears from there while taking Wu Kong's master. Seeing this, the immortal also becomes furious at Wu Kong. He tells him, "The tree you have destroyed contains the chi energy. The demon king was imprisoned here because of the chi energy, but you have destroyed the tree, and the demon king is released now." He tells Wu Kong, "The demon king will be in its real form in the next three days." Later, he will destroy the whole world. He will also injure Master as well. They move in search of Wu Kong's master. When they were leaving, a smoke energy is shown hiding in Sandy's bag. Everyone was changing into a demon at the places from where Demon King passed because of its energy. Later, the Demon King reaches at the top of a huge mountain. He asks its demon army to take care of the master. Because he will be in its real form in the next three days, he will need the soul of the master to complete form. It was beneficial for him to keep the master fine. Wu Kong, Baiji, and Sandy move in search of the master. The small smoke energy is also with them. They discover after some time it was none other than the chi energy appeared from the tree. It is with them to defeat the demon king again. Wu Kong doesn't believe this, and he was feeling this is the tree soul. That's why he doesn't want to take it with them. The devil which was appeared near the tree is again shown running. Wu Kong asks him while holding it, "Tell me, where does Demon King live?" He tells them the address of the mountain, and the small devil tells them how only chi energy can end it. Wu Kong takes the small chi energy with it. They move forward on that way. The Demon King has also shown discovering this through its mental energy. Hearing this, the Demon King sends his demon army to capture them because he wanted to end the chi energy. Otherwise, he will not be able to come in its real form after three days. Wu Kong, Baiji, and Sandy reach a city to have food. Everyone was scared of them, and the demon army also reaches there. 
and the fight starts between them. Wukong fights with them and they run from there. But the people there are also sown under the effect of demonic energy. Chi energy becomes sad seeing this because it was happening after many years. The Chi energy makes everyone fine with its powers. The head of the demon army tells Demon King after returning they have defeated by Wukong. The demonic king cuts his head. Later, he sends a black smoke behind Wukong to defeat him this time. Wukong, Baiji and Sandy are still searching for the master. They reach a temple and Baiji starts eating the rotten food because of hunger. Wukong discovers something new here and asks Sandy to go with him. The black smoke is also sown rich here in a short time. The environment of the temple was changed and black smoke goes inside a statue god. It becomes alive and asks Wukong for Qi energy. Wukong comes in anger hearing this and Sandy and Baiji also reach there. They start fighting and there was a small dragon along with the statue. Wukong ends it with the help of the hair on his scalp. Later, the black smoke comes out of the statue and attacks the Qi energy. The Qi energy defeats black smoke easily and Wukong was shocked seeing this. The statue becomes normal as the black smoke leaves. Statue becomes sad seeing its temple being destroyed. Wukong asks him, Tell me, where does the Demon King live? The statue points towards a top of a mountain. He tells Demon King is hidden there with its army and tells them you don't have to worry because the Qi energy is with you. On the mountain, all the evil gods have gathered and three days of Demon King were completed. He was in its real form and everyone was congratulating it. So now, he will occupy the whole world. Wukong, Baiji and Sandy were resting at a place and waiting for the Qi energy to sleep but the Qi energy has no plan to sleep. He asked question from Wukong again and again like who has named you? Wukong tells, it is my master who has named me and then again Qi energy questions him but Wukong asks him to sleep after scolding. After this, the Qi energy sleeps. Wukong lives with Baiji and Sandy for the mountain top after making a protection circle around the Qi energy. They reach the mountain top. The army of the demon king was waiting for them. Baiji asks Wukong you have destroyed the tree alone, but the fruit of it have been eaten by three of us. That's why we will support you in fighting. We will not leave you alone. They want to release the master together. An amazing fight starts between them. There were the companions of the demon king at one side and the three were on the other side. An amazing fight was going in. Baiji is soon surrounded by the enemies from everywhere. They think he will be scared, but he transforms in a giant. He was crossing the demons with his feet and Sandy is also soon. He was also competing with the demons with bravery. The fire monster reaches there. Before it harms Sandy, Wukong arrives and defeats him. Later, the demons gather to end them. Wukong again uses his scalp hair and he creates small monkeys. They were ending them and the demon kings also comes into the field. The atmosphere of this place was changed because there was demon smoke everywhere. Seeing this, even the demon starts running. It seems like it has become hell. The demons know that the demon king will not spare anyone. That's why they were running being scared. The demon king appears in front and asks Wukong for the chi energy. Wukong didn't agree. He asks him to return the master. They were fighting while facing each other. There was the demon king on one side, Wukong, Santi and Baiji were on the other side. But the demon king was the most powerful. He was fighting with them easily. Wukong was also showing its power but the demon king has more power. They both have a lot of powers. That's why the fight continues for a long time. Because of the power of the demon king, Wukong got injured. Later, the demon king moves towards the chi energy. Wukong again attacks when he saw demon king was moving towards the chi energy. The demon king hits him badly this time. Wukong was in bad condition after this. The chi energy becomes sad seeing this and wants to come out of the protective circle. Wukong forbids him that you have to be in that circle. Baiji and Sandy also reach for help. The demon king injured them brutally. He again moves towards the Qi energy. Qi energy is sown in a protective circle and so the demon king uses his black smoke power to break the shield somehow. Wukong also comes in the circle. It takes the power on himself that the demon king was using. Wukong was in a bad condition after all this. The Qi energy was depressed seeing all this. 
Qi energy starts weeping. The demon king also brings Wukong's master there and says, I will use his soul. So he absorbs the master's soul. The master dies like this. Wukong was seeing all this but couldn't do anything. The demon king again asks Wukong for the Qi energy. But he said, I would like to die than giving Qi energy to you. And so the demon king kills Wukong. Seeing this, Qi energy attacks. A lot of power was attacking on the demon king. But it wasn't affecting him because he has the pure soul of the master. He ends the Qi energy while using his full powers. The Qi energy is soon moving to Wukong. Wukong's heart is soon fine again. He is alive again. Later, he says to the demon king that there is nothing more powerful than Qi energy because it is the great Buddha's energy. He defeats the demon king badly. The demon king has died and Wukong was depressed because his master died. But suddenly, Wukong notices that his master was behind him and he was meditating. An angel comes down from heaven to make the tree grow again. But she fails. But she finds the leaf of the tree in Wukong's hand. She uses that leaf and grows the tree again. As the tree grows up, the movie ends.